be consistent it doesn't matter uh, it's the contest goes good or bad you each and every day you have to follow the same routine you have to uh, solve a question basically it's not about solving more and more questions it's more about solving good quality questions and with different different approaches hi everyone my name is kushal and i'm a software engineer from to solve come back to another video yaar today we have with us amazing guest who has recently cracked multiple off campus opportunities at some amazing product based companies so we'll be talking about his journey but before going to that if you haven't watched the layoff related video or the remote jobs related video make sure you watch it after watching this particular video and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more such amazing content so let's get started with the intro of us okay so hello everyone my name is harsh walia i am currently a final year student at triple it in gwalior and i am pursuing integrated btech plus mtech from it and so i have a past internship experience as a data scientist at scalar and as a sd intern at samsung and now recently i got the 6 months winter internship opportunity at google so wow. yeah that's all about me amazing amazing तो देखो गूगल की हायरिंग प्रोसेस या बाकी अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपको कैसे मिली उसको तो हम बाद में देंगे पहले एक छोटा सा क्वेश्चन बता दो उसमें ऑफ कैंपस अपॉर्चुनिटीज कौन सी थी और ऑन कैंपस कौन सी ओके सो स्केलर एंड गूगल इज द ऑफ कैंपस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड द सैमसंग इज द ऑन कैंपस अपॉर्चुनिटी सो हाउ यू एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ईयर आपने फर्स्ट ईयर में क्या किया सेकेंड ईयर में क्या किया कैसे किन रिसोर्सेज से किया किन लो, लोगों को फॉलो किया फिर अब अप्लाई करने का जब टाइम आया था आपने लिंक कैसे यूज किया या फिर आपने किन लोगों का यू नो काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट फॉलो किया तो वो सारी आपकी जर्नी थोड़ा ब्रीफ में बता ओके सो इनिशियली आई स्टार्टेड इन माय फर्स्ट ईयर विद द बेसिक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम then uh, slowly slowly i moved to the cp competitive programming and at the end of the first year i started with basically uh, web development so in my complete second year i do the uh, data structure and web development parallelly and at the end of the second year basically i have done a, a internship as a in a startup uh, as a for a front end developer role and then in the third year i have interest in the basically data science and machine learning so then uh, i started with data science and machine learning but parallelly i didn't stop working on my dsc skills because i know it is the major skills that is required for the product based company so i in the complete in my third and fourth year i focus on the dsc as well as data science parallelly and at the end of my fourth year i got the uh, internship opportunity at scalar as a data scientist and there i worked for uh, at least 5 months uh, as a data scientist and then in the summer of the fourth year i joined samsung as a software developer then in my final year i basically uh, i again started doing my data structure and algorithms i follow some basic uh, dsc sheets i made my own sheets with, uh, basically follow some important questions and uh, then i got applied to the google and i got selected for the google interview so that was oh. the journey amazing harsh so let's focus on more upon the part how you actually applied for opportunities did you use linkedin did you you directly applied on the career portal or reach out to recruiters or any employees how you actually you know what was your strategy and how you did it? okay so i think uh, for my off campus opportunity linkedin has played a major role so when i got the internship at scalar i contacted to the some senior position person at scalar who is a data scientist and uh, i contacted him and uh, then there is a form then i applied to that form and i got the interview call from uh, scalar and then i gave a one hour interview and i got shortlisted for the interview similarly in the case of google also uh, this is a, uh, i have taken a referral and applied to Uh, google on their website and then i got shortlisted for the interview process and then there is a two round interview process for google okay okay so in the first case when you got an opportunity at scalar uh, so you reached out some to some senior employees so at that time th- what was your skill set like what skills you had or yeah. how you actually reached out to them what is the template that you used to reach out to them okay so uh, in when i got the opportunity at scalar i was in my fourth Year and uh, I am basically looking for various job roles. I have given interviews at different companies. I am applying to different companies at that time. They are hiring for some data scientist position, and uh, I just contacted on to the senior person, and he agreed to take the interview 
of mine and basically uh, i have a one hour interview process at that time my major skill set was the basically about the data science and machine learning and i worked on different projects and i participated on various cattle competitions and uh, some, scored some good rank and published some research paper in the machine learning also so seeing those skills uh, he basically approached me to uh, give the interview for that particular role amazing amazing definitely your participation in different cattle contests and you know your publish publishments definitely would have helped you to got that opportunity let's talk about google now How was the hiring process? What is the level of DSA questions asked? What are the number of rounds? So let's talk about the hiring process at Google. Okay. So I uh, mentioned like uh, I have applied to their career portal. I got shortlisted for the interview rounds. So in the Google process, there is basically two interview rounds. Uh, each round is of forty-five minutes. Uh, the, so the first round is uh, basically in those two rounds, they only ask the the DSA question, one DSA question each round. So now let's talk about the first round. In the first round, they ask. We have uh, basically a graph question. Basically, in the first round, when uh, in the initially first forty minutes, I only explained the approaches. So the uh, the interviewer told me uh, the question orally. I asked each and every question. What sample case? What uh, any boundary cases? I asked them and explained the question with two different approaches. And the major thing in the Google interview is how you explain to the interviewer basically if you are explaining that uh, this question can be solved by dp or graph the major important thing is how you know that how you reach to that point how you connect all the dots to reach that that this question can be solved by graph or a dp so in the initial 40 minutes i only explain how i reach to that point that this question can be solved by a particular algorithm and the last 5 to 10 minutes i just code for it so the if we talk about the difficulty level is uh, lead code medium type and uh, now in the my second round again a uh, uh, some graph question was asked to me and uh, again i solved the question in the first 30 minutes and since we have the time left then they asked me another question they didn't tell me to code it but they asked me the approach so again the basically in the google interview the major part is how you explain things to the interviewer what is your thought process they uh, they want to make sure that how you can handle the different cases uh, they just give you the simple question and then you have to ask each and every detail about it and mm-hmm. yeah so this was the experience Great, great. I mean, that sounds really interesting. Basically, this is called the problem-solving skills, and you would have gotten it with a lot of practice of DSA questions and from your CP experience. So, how you did you prepare for the Google interview? Okay, so first of all, uh, I want to tell you like uh, in the last moment, I got the uh, email from the Google that after the one week you have the interview. So okay. first of all, before that, you have to prepare like in the from the beginning, from the first or the second year. I was continuously in touch with the DSA. I was basically giving contest each and every contest. Either if the contest is bad or good, you have to do it continuously. You have to do it consistently. Basically, it's not about solving more and more questions. It's more about solving good quality questions and with different different approaches. Like just take time to solve the questions. See how the patterns. What are the patterns in the questions? how can we solve it from different different algorithms write mm-hmm. comments write as much good code as possible so when i get to know about like uh, i have a interview after one week so i accordingly plan my that one week like what topics i have to study i, I have to focus more on the uh, basic traversal algorithms graph algorithms dp or trees uh, the uh, google basically have a some set of topics which they ask questions so i prepared those topics and uh, initially also i have uh, also done some uh, dsa sheets like provided by love bubber or uh, or striver and basically i have made also my own sheet which i have marked the important questions of each and every topic so that i can cover the basically all the aspect of the question so yeah that's how i prepared for it amazing so i have seen students do mistakes right you might have done some mistakes while you were preparing or during your interviews so what are the mistakes that students generally do while preparing or consuming resources or you know uh, while giving interviews okay so i think what students generally do is like if you are preparing for dsa uh, just don't focus on the number of questions actually focus on the quality of the questions and how you do it basically uh, initially i was doing the same mistake like i was 
focusing on the number of questions I have done. But later on, I realized that I have to do a question for from different different approaches. I have to basically know the pattern in each and every question, then I will able to connect the dots to come to the final solution. So uh, my suggestion to the students is basically to focus on the quality of the question and try to solve the question from different different uh, different different ways. Try to comment it out. Practice as like you are giving an interview. Uh, do regular contest and also prepare for mock interviews. That uh, I have also given mock interviews with my friends, and that helped me to basically uh, crack Google interview also. So I uh, bi-weekly I give uh, a mock interview with my friends to just to basically prepare for the final interview. Got it. Okay, great, amazing advice actually. So let's move to our last question. That students generally, you know, after even after consistent practice or monotonous practice, people tend to get demotivated because of not getting any opportunities. So you might have been through that stage. So how you yes, kept yes. yourself going or kept the momentum going? Okay, so there might be days when, like, if you gave contest, you didn't get the good rank, you perform very bad, or yes. there might be days you perform very well. So the thing is, just you have to be be consistent. It doesn't matter if the contest goes good or bad. You each and every day you have to follow the same routine. You have to uh, solve a question. Uh, there might be good days or there might be bad days. Either take a break. I have also taken some breaks and again started, again started. Then finally a day will come, then then all the dots will get connected and you will feel that yeah you have done the right thing and this is how you will get succeeded. Great, I mean thanks a lot for all the insights, uh, Harsh. Really appreciate that and loved all the pieces that you that you shared in the video. I hope everyone who is watching the video would have would have gotten some help out of it. So make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow Harsh or connect with them, you can find his socials in the description below. And if you want to connect with me, check my Instagram or find my socials in the description below. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.